Hey, it's Evan. I didn't see you there. Are you ready to see a guy talk about what he spent this month for the next few minutes? If so, come here, come here, come here. I'll let you in a secret. But if you haven't seen the rest of the videos in this series, basically I'm tracking every single expense and doing monthly update videos just like this one. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next ones coming each month. Look at that. Check this out. And bye. Ah, fuck. Is it recording? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, so start with the month, we got transportation. So with this new car that I just bought, new insurance premium. So like that sucks, but it's like five bucks extra. It's not actually that bad. I also did mention that my mom was actually helping me pay for the car, which is pretty nice. I am repaying her really slowly. So yeah, that's why, uh, yeah, so that's basically what I've been doing. Uh, repaying her slowly, and that's actually why uh, transportation was a lot this month, which kind of sucks. What is that? Ah, it's so loud! Then I did have to gas up a couple of times. I also did get a car wash because, you know, this, this car is actually kind of good. Not a complete rusty shit box like my last one, so I'm actually trying to keep the paint in good condition. Woo! It's the rainbow suds! Jeez. I also do plan on having this car for many years, so I will be babying it like crazy, which means getting car washes more frequently, you know, just doing more maintenance because I really do want this car to last for lots of years, right? <laughs> And now we have the subscription section. Last episode I mentioned that I'd be paying more for Spotify and that's just because I'm paying for the Spotify dual plan for my girlfriend and I. And that's like, what, 13 bucks plus tax or something? And the deal that we made is that I buy her her Spotify and she buys me a bubble tier so each month. And that is what I call the art of negotiation. So next up we got the personal section and I actually got some more creatine because uh, I finally ran out and Allmax is too busy being a bum and they raised the price by double so that's really unfortunate for me but honestly it's not bad for a supplement that I buy like two or three times a year. I did also stop taking pre-workout because it's super expensive and because of that my supplement costs are way cheaper. Also besides supplements I did also snag a haircut as you can see and you'll also see it in my previous video the journaling video but you should already know that because you've been watching my videos. And speaking of the bubble tea from earlier, we have the food section. Now my girlfriend and I celebrated our third anniversary this month and we got lots of nice dinners and got a lot of food together. Being the good boyfriend I am, I paid for those dinners and that's why we have a triple digit food budget this month. I'm obviously not going to cheap out on my relationship so that's why I ended up spending so much. Now yes, almost $300 is quite a lot of food, but I'll have you know that about half of that was for anniversary alone. And that actually takes us to our sponsor, Hello Fre- <laughs> Okay, no, <laughs> that's stupid. But besides that, there was the occasional bubble tea and iced coffee, but you know I had to do it to him. And to finish up the categories, everything else will be bunched into miscellaneous. I mentioned earlier that my girlfriend and I celebrated our third anniversary, and with that came a little present. She's always wanted to build a bear and never got one growing up, so I thought it would be fun to surprise her and let her build her own. This is what she decided on, and of course, we had to add a little voice to it. In return, she got me some more tools for my collection, so now I can do more jobs on my car. And speaking of my car, for like the millionth time, my weapon blades were shot and I needed to get some new ones. Plus I did do an oil change so my car will be more winter ready. Oh, that's really hot! And for non-car things, I went to go watch Shang-Chi in theaters and it got me some new shirts. I don't need it. I don't need it. And that has been all my expenses for September. Now if we add it all up, this is what I ended up spending throughout the entire month. As you can see, transportation and food seem to be eating up the majority of my money, so next month I'm going to challenge myself. Can I spend less on transportation and food? Quote me on this. I'll be doing a comparison of this month versus October to see if I follow through or not. Since I've been graduated for some time now, it feels odd to have so much free time and honestly, it's making me spend way more money. Maybe when I'm employed, I'll spend less. Anyways guys, thanks for watching my September expenses video and if you made it to the end, please make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and drop a sub if you want to keep up to date on my expenses journey. So with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.